Now, if you haven't already upgraded to Final Cut Studio 2, which therefore comes with Final Cut Pro 6, don't worry, there is another solution for you. If you have Final Cut Express or Final Cut 5.1, you can download the open source XDCAM EX component. And you can find that here if you Google Parian XDCAM component. You will find this site. You just download this link here. And then in our downloads, we see our Parian XDCAM component. And we're just going to drag that into Macintosh hard drive, then library, then find QuickTime. And this is where we put it. And you will probably need to authenticate. And there we go. Now in Final Cut 5, because we've put that component in, you can now go and make a custom sequence. And if you use your sequence settings, audio and video settings, and what you can do is start from, say, the Apple Intermediate Codex setting and just duplicate it. And we're going to call this XDCAM EX. And we'll make this one 720p. 24. So it's already set for 1280 by 720. Pixel aspect is square. That's what we want. Our editing time base will switch to 23.98. And then our codec. Now this is where we would select our XDCAM EX codec for 35 megabits per second. So this is how you make a custom sequence. And of course our audio because in XDCAM EX, the audio is 16-bit, 48 kilohertz. Uh, we can leave that just like this. And there we go. We have a new preset that we can select at any point. Now, let's duplicate that one. And we'll switch this to 1080. And now we have a 1080p24. And the only thing we have to do here is select XDCAM EX for 1080p 24. There we go. Now we have a couple new sequence presets. We can go on from there and continue to make different sequence presets. So let's make this one I60. And we'll set frame rate to 29.97. Field dominance will be upper field first. And then we'll set the codec to XDCAM EX, 1080i60, and 35 megabits per second. There we go.